I believe I've been a good person all my life. I try to raise my family by the principles of truth. In search of a dream. You want to drink? Do it in front of me. You want to be with girls? I don't do it in front of me. You smoke? I kill you. Pretty simple rules for a happy life, right? In a new world. You talk, you talk to her. You want me dressed up like a Christmas tree? Hello? But similar better when your mother and I... Dad, you're missing the point. Times have changed. A hard-working, God-fearing man. Then it's a yes? No. No? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right, a yes. No! Struggles to raise his family. The American kids, they just don't understand. He's tired of trying to explain. He's confused. He's confused about what he is? <laughs> it's the turban. And then... Into the towers in Manhattan, the Twin Towers. This will change things forever. Even under the best of intentions. All of America mourns. How can we celebrate? The country's not going to come to a standstill because of this. The country's far greater than this. Tragedy knows no bounds. America has truly lost its innocence. कंचन माटी मने My father and my uncle were very close to each other and the tragedy of their lives parallel that Americans with beards and turbans Hi, Dad. How was dinner? Good. Good? <laughs> A marriage proposal? A marriage proposal. For Simran? Well, not for you. <laughs> you talk, you talk to her. Simran Beta, when your mother and I, um, your grandfather went to see her. And... Said yes, and you went along with it, and you'd never seen her before your wedding day. That was a different era, Dad. But it wasn't that long ago. You make it seem like it was the Ice Age or something. Dad, you're missing the point. Times have changed. What? What did I do? I told you. You want to drink? Do it in front of me. You want to be with girls? I don't do it in front of me. You smoke? I kill you. Pretty simple rules for a happy life, right? Yeah, Dad. He wants to cut his hair. He what? He's troubled by it. <laughs> He's troubled by what God has given him? That's it. God has bestowed upon him a sack full of hair. The American kids, they just don't understand. He's tired of trying to explain. He's confused. He's confused about what he is? Yes. Mr. Yes? No. No? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right, a yes. No! I mean... All I want to know is that is it a yes or a no? I don't know. Did she say yes? I don't know. But I love you, Simran. I know.
बारी बरसी खटन गया सी बारी बारी बरसी खटन गया This will change things forever. All of America mourns. How can we celebrate? The country is not going to come to a standstill because of this. The country is far greater than this. It's the turban. Like fucking terrorists, huh? I believe I have been a good person all my life. I've tried to raise my family by the principles of truth. That's you, Dad. I'm not you. It's not worth dying for it. You don't need someone to tell you who you are and where you belong. You belong because you believe in the truth. should be fair, not necessarily favorable. How would be Simran? Graduating, huh? Yes, yes. Very proud. MBA, yes, masters, top of her class, very proud. Yeah, I can see, father's wish. Time to marry her off. Yes, <laughs> time to marry her off. Rish tell ke I am. A married proposal? A marriage proposal. For Simran? <laughs> well, not for you. <laughs> Major Bhai Saab, oh, we have been friends for a long time now. 20 years. Hmm? I respect your way of life and you respect what I stand for. But our ways are different. Our beliefs, our cultures. All right, so similar, yet different. Our religion. Arjun, what is your point? <laughs> uh, I will not marry my daughter to a Muslim. But then explain. I do not wish to disrespect your beliefs. I hold them in very high esteem. Oh, not that I am prejudiced. Likewise. My friend, the love that we hold for each other, the respect is there because we understand the wishes of one another. We are both men of principle. 
There is nothing wrong with wanting to stay within your own, as long as you tolerate the ways of another, no matter how different they are from our own. We want the best for our children. I know. The boy is not from Afghanistan. Indian? Yes, Indian. Sikh boy? <laughs> yes, a Sikh family. <laughs> Jot Sikh. Oh. <laughs> well? Yes, Jat Sikh. <laughs> Indian Jat Sikh family. Bingo! The boy is beautiful. <laughs> Our Simran is beautiful. The boy, I would say he is, um, okay, yes, he's good looking. You're not sure. How would I know? I'm not a woman. <laughs> all right, he's good looking. All right, all right, all right. Good looking like Simran, huh? <laughs> the family wishes to come over and meet you. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. The boy um, has a beard and wears a turban, right? Arjun, expect life to be fair, not necessarily favorable. <laughs> What's it now? Talk to me. Did Simran say something? No, no. It's Ranjit. Ranjit? He has to find some new friends. I don't like the way he's behaving. Let the boy be. It's his age. He'll outgrow it. We were different growing up. Of course you were. You were perfect. There had to be a reason for you to fall madly for me, huh? Like I never told you. Come to bed, he'll be fine. He wants to cut his hair. He what? He's troubled by it. <laughs> He's troubled by what God has given him? That's it. God has bestowed upon him a sack full of hair. You know what I mean. We are not in India. He's a handsome boy. Let him cut his hair. It's not the end of the world. He just wants to fit in, be normal like the other kids. Normal like B Babs and Gonzo? Who? His friends. Oh, damn, good boys. Babs and Gonzo? Oh, what do they call him, Rundi? At school, he has difficulty because of his turban. The American kids, they just don't understand. He's tired of trying to explain. He's confused. He's confused about what he is? Yes. You knew? Knew what, Simran Beta? About this? Him? Uh, yes, um, I mean, but... but then uh, why did you put me through this? Did you not see the photograph? No, I... No, I didn't. Then it's a yes? No. No? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right, a yes. No! I mean... Uh, Simran Beta, we are not going to do this all night, are we? Is it a yes or a no? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what kind of answer is that? Don't you understand? I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, looking into your eyes each day and thanking God you are my wife. And I live for you each day. That was sweet. Really sweet. But you forgot just one thing. What? I believe it's about seven feet here. I'll tell you Enough. what. Enough! You are not kidding. You are not crazy. You're serious. I'm testing my love. My commitment, right? All right. 
What are you doing? I'm asking you. No. Begging you to say yes. Silly you. Can't you see? You are so busy with all that other stuff that you haven't done the most important thing of all. You haven't looked into my eyes. Look. Look and you will see. Oh yes, I see great-grandchildren, <laughs> and I walk beside you, my cane clanking against the pavement, and you, still so beautiful, a great-grandmother. I love you, Simran, and I will love you into the next world. Now don't go chasing me forever. One lifetime together is enough. Then I should make the best of it, Mrs. Dillon. <laughs> Here we go again with that Mrs. Dillon stuff. <sighs> What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... It's just corny. Just promise me one thing. Anything. You'll never start the day with this Mrs. Dillon thing. Okay? <laughs> okay. Dad, what? We uh, need to talk. Okay. Uh, can it wait? What? What did I do? You have some explaining to do. What? I told you. You want to drink? Do it in front of me. You want to be with girls? I